All right, good morning and welcome to the committee on land use. I am Council Member Rafael Salamanca, the chair of this committee. I would like to thank my esteemed colleagues who are members of this committee that are present today. We have Council Members Constantinides, Ku, Landsman, Reynoso, Richards, Torres, Gradenchik, Chair Adams, Diaz, and Rivera. I want to thank Chair Moya and Chair Adams for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we will be voting on a number of projects referred out of our subcommittees. We'll be voting to approve pre-considered LU application number 20195227 SCK submitted by New York City School Construction Authority pursuant to section 1732 of the Public Authorities Law. The site selection for an approximately 322 C primary school facility to be located at 250-266-46th Street in Councilmember Menchaca's district in Brooklyn. We will also be voting to approve LUs 369, the McDonald's Avenue rezoning in Councilmember Landers district in Brooklyn. This zoning map amendment would map a new C2-4 commercial overlay district within an existing R5 district. This would allow the, continu the continued operation of a commercial banquet hall located within the connected cellar level spaces of two adjacent buildings. We will also vote to approve LUs 373, 374, and 375 for the Blondell Commons rezoning in Councilmember Jonai's district. Thank you. The actions would, re would rezone an existing M1-1 district to a R7A slash C2-4 district. Map the project area as a mandatory inclusionary housing area and utilizing option two. And the DMAP a, por a portion of Fink Avenue. Our approval will facilitate the development of a mixed use building. The applicant has agreed that this building, which will be developed under, their, under the ELA term, will be six stories in height with a seven story that is set back. It will also include community facility space and 225 accessory, accessory parking spaces. Council member Joe and I has asked me to read this brief remark in the record. I would like to thank the members of the committee, the development team, HPD, and Council Land Use Division for working together to shape this development into a project that will provide much needed affordable housing and public parking while adding the vibrancy of the street corridor. My office has worked with the developer to reduce the scale of the project to better fit the local context from nine stories and 228 units down to six stories and a seven story setback off the street and a total of 172 units. All the while, the project will maintain the, two, the 225 parking spaces that are vitally important to the Westchester bid and approximately 20,000 square foot of commercial space. The developer has agreed to work to find an educational tenant for the space. With these changes, I ask that my colleagues vote to advance this project. We will also vote to approve LUs 382 through 385 for the Brooklyn Boulevard rezoning in Councilmember Diaz District in the Bronx. The proposal includes a zoning map amendment to rezone R5 District to R7A District and R7A slash C2-4 District. A zoning text amendment to map MIH Option 1 and Article 11 tax exemption for the two new buildings, including 65 affordable home ownership units, 265 rental units, rental space, and 158 parking spaces. We will also vote to approve with modifications pre-considered LUs 379 and 380, the 1640 Flatbush Avenue rezoning for property in, Cou in Council District 45 in Brooklyn. A zoning map amendment would rezone the development site from a C8-2 and an R6 district to a C4-4D district and other portions of the rezoning area from a C8-2 district to an R6 district. As proposed, a zoning text amendment would map MIH option two over the C4-4D portion. Our modifications will be to remove MIH option two and to add MIH option one in accordance with feedback from community board, borough president, and former council member. I understand that the former council member would like to see a project with additional affordability beyond that, requ that is required by MIH. The challenge here is that this is not a project using housing subsidy dollars. So the council is modifying the proposal to ensure depth of affordability for the affordable housing that is being provided. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? 
Seeing none, I will now call a vote in accordance with recommendations of the subcommittee to approve preconsiders LUs 20195227 SCK, LUs 369, LUs 373 through 375, and LUs 382 through 385. And to approve in modifications, I have described preconsiders LUs 379 and 380. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote. Committee on land use, all items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Um, I vote aye on all, but before I, I end there, I just want to congratulate um, Council Member Joni on really coming to an agreement on this Blondell Commons project. I know that it was a very controversial project in his council district. However, you know, he kept his eye on the ball to ensure that the community did not lose out on 100% affordable housing. And he was able to provide 225 units, uh, 225 parking spaces, which I know is very much needed in that area. And I also want to congratulate Councilmember Diaz. This is a really exciting project, Councilmember. Um, you know, you are not only providing 265 units of 100% affordable housing, but you're also providing 65 affordable home ownership opportunities. And that's exactly what the Bronx needs. So congratulations. Gibson. Barron. I vote aye with the exception of land use 379 and 380, which in the end results in 25% affordable housing and 75% market rate. Thank you. Konstantinidis. I vote aye. Deutsch. Aye. King. Aye on all except, except um, 379 and 380. Ku. Lansman. Aye. Reynoso. Aye on all. Richards. Aye on all. Torres. Aye on all. Traeger. Aye. Gordinchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Diaz. Aye. Moya. Aye. Rivera. Aye. All items are adopted on today's agenda by a vote of 17 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, with land use items 379 and 380 being adopted by the committee, 15 in the affirmative, two in the negative, and no abstentions. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and I, staff for attending today's hearing. I will leave the roll open for 10 minutes. Thank you.